Hello Capricorns! Welcome to your mid-October to beginning of November read. Check it out. Oh dear, okay. This is the Dark Mirror Oracle card deck. And it's cool as shit. And I like it. And we're going to use that to figure out your vibration for this read. Capricorns and Cross Watchers. This is for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. You know? You just boop your nose and away it goes, right? If you want a personal read after this, all the information is in the description box below. After my little list of the music I use for my background and my videos. Newcomers, first read is on the house. Everything else comes with the price. <coughs> All right, so let us see. What is your oracle card, Capricorns? Black flower fragrance. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Let's catch. Let's see. It is number 16. Black flower fragrance, the moon phase full, stage anger. What the fuck? The world is unfair. F fuck off, dear world. Fuck you. What? Ah, yeah, okay, that's good. Visual seed, a beautiful woman, her face with a hint of resolve holds a strange black rose on her chest. It seems to explode like a crystal, each petal an obsidian shard. Sentence, if we want to go dark, go black. Don't stop to the evening, but embrace the night. Love is a, not a white dove, nor it turns people into angels. Love can be ugly. Love can be cheap. Love can be rotten, but even ugly love has a right to exist. Even cheap love ha can raise to the sky. Even rotten love has the dignity of eternity. Even a black rose by any other name should still smell as sweet. Even if you are wrong, you still have the right to be angry. Even if you are not perfect, you have the right to be respected. Even if you are stupid, you have the right to be listened to. Even if you are lucky, you have the right to complain. Even if you are rich, you have the right to be sad. If you cannot shine because you are beautiful, then shine even if you are ugly. Shine because you are ugly. Gorgeously black. Ugly is love. Worn out as an angel. Cheap as a crown. Unconquered as a fragrant as a fragrant in the night. Well, that's it, Capricorns. Let's see what's up with us. All right. So what the fuck? Apparently, the world is really ugly. We're telling the world to fuck off. And we're going to love ourselves despite the fact that we're ugly ourselves. That's interesting. Let's see. You have a indecision popping up, Capricorns, with the Two of Swords. And below that is the Five of Pentacles. There's, there's some sort of indecision going on, and that's because, like, you're trying to secure yourself, but to the point of death, like, you're a 16-year-old thinking of your retirement plan. You know, kind of crazy. You're planning to your end or some shit. Thoughts and feelings... It's the Nine of Pentacles. Feeling good about yourself, really. Being in your identity of sorts. You got like a chip on your shoulder a little bit. And the root of those thoughts and feelings is the Ace of Cups. Ew. Then we have the King of Pentacles. That could be you Capricorns. Also Taurus or Virgo. Look at him hold his pentacle and be like, I got industry, man. I got stuff. And it's almost like he's offering his pentacle to the Nine of Pentacles over here. Then we got the Empress. There she is, all pretty and such. Ooh, and then we have some bad karma. Justice reverse, Libra's card. Hmm. What's that about, Capricorns? I wonder. Hmm. Let's 
Two swords right here, right? There might be someone trying to fight with you or fight. Or, you, or you, Capricorns or cross watchers, you know. One of the two of you is trying to start a fight with somebody. Possibly fire sign. I don't know. Or this fire sign just feels like they don't want to fight with you. They don't have any passion in it. They're just like, please, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. There's a lot of indecision going on with something that they're not trying to fight. Um, there might be some kids here trying to get some advice or talk to grandpa about buying a new car for him. In regards to a king of swords, he's looking and seeing some danger pop up. Okay. I'm not sure... What the fuck? Okay, Capricorn, what? I feel like it's you kind of getting in this battle with somebody who doesn't even want it, but it's like... Hmm... But this is about indecision or not being able to make a choice. Like, are there people fighting in the background and, and like, somebody, like an air sign or you, are in the, just back there just watching it like, oh, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be a terrible time. I'm, I'm so glad I'm not in this shit. Like, that, that could easily be the case, but I don't know. But I almost feel like you're the one walking up to this dude in red just being like, I'll fucking beat your ass, dude. I'll kick that ass. Alright, this four of pentacles, trying to secure yourself to the end. We have the tower reversed, you were trying to avoid it. But, there, and uh, I don't know if, um... Capricorns and Crosswatchers, either you or the person you're dealing with, but I'm feeling more like y'all, um, avoided the tower. Would I require not going somewhere, I think? Or maybe you didn't make it on the boat, but I feel like the focus is more on these cups, so it's just kind of like, even going away doesn't take the cup thing away, I guess? And it feels like it doesn't help any with your investments when it comes to home, like, yeah, Getting secured somewhere is cool, and it helped you avoid a tower moment that could have been coming, but it's like, the movement really... I don't know. I don't think this is a big investment, and if it is, it, I don't think it's to your satisfactory when it comes to your home or whatever. It could be like that. Or who you wanted to bring home, or any of that shit. Nine of Pentacle... Wait, no, hold on. Three of uh, Wands reversed did pop up, so I'll leave that on top so I can find it later. I almost forgot. I'm gonna switch the decks. Oh, there is love somewhere. I mean, you do have the Ace of Cups already on the board, but there is a love here somewhere. So. Yay. So let's see. You might just have some people fighting over you, Capricorn. And you're just blind to who's the winner is going to be. But that also makes you feel... I don't feel like that's guilty as much as you're worried which one's going to end up being the monster. You know. Or it's something that bothers you because, like, you ended up actually seeing what happened. Maybe you were one of those kids who just decided to peek when he shouldn't have and just got... And I fool something he really didn't want to that scarred him for life. And that could be that situation right there too, Capricorn. It's like you're seeing it from the distance, but you really don't see how it's playing out between these two forces. And if you did, it might shock you a little bit with how, you know, ugly the world might actually be. Let's see, down below... Ah, someone wants to ride in and possibly stab somebody, Capricorn and Cross Watchers. And then get a healthy old cup of water to quench that thirst, I guess. What the hell? Like, okay. Let me look at this. So someone comes riding in, trying to harm another. And over here, here's another, and I just 
by a river, drinking the water and stuff, replenishing their own cup. It's like someone wants to come in and fuck your day up. This air sign. Almost either because, like, the person is here with the Knight of Cups recovering for their own health. It's like someone wants to come in and sabotage that. Or Capricorn, like... This person gets caught up doing this shit. And the dude on the horse decides to retaliate, take action, change the program, you know? Now, it's this Nine of Pentacles and the thoughts and feelings, like I said. Three of Wands came up, and it is barren. Like, you know that waiting for nothing is good for you? Capricorns and Cross Watchers alike. doesn't help anything really you're not trying to deliver to any source that isn't good for you either i think and you are here's king of pentacles again totally chill with growing your own stuff right behind you feeling secure you got your buffalo friend y'all are having a conversation you're good to go <sighs> excuse me with this ace of cups which is the roots and the thoughts and feelings right it's a new beginning for you. Um, you possibly went out with this Knight of Cups again. So yeah, this could possibly be you, Capricorn. You were replenishing your cup and someone might try to fuck you up. And in return, you're going to fuck them up back because you have arrows. Sure, they're on a horse. But you catch this person doing something to somebody else, I feel like. And that's what springs you to action almost. Like, I think if it wasn't physical, you wouldn't get involved. I think you would just be on this horse, like, minding your business, like, ah, uh, I'm just drinking my tea. I brought my tea packs with me. and the, But as soon as you see that they're attacking the person, it's like, nah, I, I, I can't not do anything, you know? Yeah, you take your cup somewhere else, because this shit was making you into a zombie. It was causing you to lose yourself a little bit. Making it, like, almost an addiction of some sorts, right? Or maybe it's the whole searching for another in itself that's become that addicting factor to you that you're trying to cut out, you know? Um, because you want to be Fanny motherfucking May, damn it. Like, that is cute. I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think these are counterparts entirely. I think these are just different elements of you, Cap. Oh, wrong deck. Shit. Okay. So, up in the thoughts and feelings, right? Oh, it is getting cold in my house. My hands actually feel cold. Oh, that just flipped right on the table. How adorable, right? Yeah, somebody walked away from you, possibly, Capricorn, and in response, you might have just been like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> I'm not fucking whining over you. I'll give you one, a, a few days, three days, and then I'm moving on with my shit, because I'm, I'm totally done with, like, worrying about the shit. Like, it, even to the point where they knock, the cups got knocked over and spilled down and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, that's exactly what I say. You just decided, well, fuck it. If you're going to walk away, I am too. But then it's like they turned around. Like, they were already walking, but then as soon as you started walking, they turned around, Capricorns. It's like, oh, wait, where do you think you're going? And you're just like, I'm leaving. What makes you want to leave? Because you left. Why would, why would I stick around if you're not going to be here either? You know, that's stupid. Down below in the thoughts, the roots of the thoughts and feelings, honestly. You have been, I feel like, uncomfortable. I think you've been trying to find your place and it hasn't been happening. Like, you have ducks to take care of and this does not make you happy that you have nowhere to put your ducks. Right. But it has been extremely hard to empty these emotions out, I feel like, as well, Capricorns. Yeah. It might not be the most fair situation, but, you know, like, fuck the world. We already know none of this is really fair, right? Alrighty. The King of Pentacles. Once again, could be you, Capricorns. It's so easy. So easy. Uh, yeah, you're making your money, but you also realize this re connection or relationship with another person was just 
not good for either of you. In fact, your embraces were more like you were trying to choke each other out. But since they were such warm hugs, you didn't think anything of it a little bit. Um, I feel like you blocked them mentally, a little bit of, like you're trying to block them out emotionally for sure. You still feel that. Um, but that's the only thing you feel. Other than that, you pretty much completely blocked them out of your life. Uh, you know, just tossing justice out the window. Like, nobody gives a shit, you know. Like, just cl clank. Now, here the Empress is upright. You know, there might have been someone who felt like they were trapped on the ceiling after being betrayed and they weren't able to leave or travel or some shit, right? Caps and Crocs watchers. With this Emperor, something didn't die. Possibly Scorpio. It, 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 like, someone didn't face the Grim Reaper. Or, AKA, someone didn't want to face the fact that they might have did some shit to themselves. Are you okay? This guy's doing very unsafe shit. Oh, Lord. Is that somebody's head in the corner? Or, like... Or is that a tire? It's a Okay, because from this angle, it looks like somebody's head. Is severed. It's weird. I don't know. And mm. okay, so with this Empress, like something really isn't dead here, and it has something to do with the fact that someone just doesn't want to deal with the fact that maybe they were the cause of some of their issues. And once they start riding in for whatever it is, Capricorns. That's when this lightning storm that you're possibly absor observing will come in. Possibly a mother figure or just an older woman who is um, not entirely clear on uh, why stuff keeps happening to them. And then they just ride in to this lightning storm without really thinking about it either. Oh dear. All right. Last row. This... Justice reverse cards and bad karma, right? Someone got fucked up as they came out of the woods. <laughs> like, you can see it on their clothes that they got fucked up, right? You know. Um, trying to learn the ethics and moralities from those who they could study from, right? In order to get that point with the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Odd people. I'll have to say caps. Let's see. Up top. Yeah, someone wants to try to drag you through the fire. And just be like, yeah, I'm not happy. So you can't be either. That's nice of them. But not really. Uh, yeah, literally. Because you, it's like they can't work it out. And they know that they could have done something with you. But since they can't have you, it's like... It's kind of, it's like a problem. It's like a problem that has nothing to do with you. Or you are observing two other people who might even be related to each other, honestly. Because this does look like a mother and daughter scenario. Um, who um just don't get the fuck along. And I wonder if they just set each other up or whatever. Like constantly bickering and shit. Constantly going back and forth with each other instead of actually working stuff out. You know. Down here, where, you know, things aren't dying, somebody can't, like, see what's wrong with them, and they keep just running into the same kind of disaster, like, you know, they got some pentacles, but they only take one at a time, you know, they only take one at a time, it's just like, let's see how the rest of them grow before you pick them, I just want to be sure, you know, um, and they might have to dump that, those, those cups out, man, like, it's like this person's way too relaxed with what they take, and then, like, whatever they don't take, they just dump their cups about it. Just be like, oh, well, fuck it. You know, like, I only take what I need to, you know? Which is always good in ways, but not every time, you know? Down below, Capricorns and Cross Watchers. Every time you try to talk to this person, it leads to a bite. A, a bite. If I could talk today, a fight, right? A fight of great proportions. And y'all need to learn how to hug each other. 
Like, you're going to have to embrace somebody for being a freaking animal. You know? Because, you know, you're ugly too. Just like them. However, it, that doesn't mean you have to tolerate their bullshit. Like, you, you gotta, like, nip some things in the butt and just be like, look, you can't be doing this nonsense because I, I can't handle it. I have my own weird gestures I'm going to have to learn to control to deal with. All that jazz, right? But I think it's funny that they only want you back. They're wondering where you're going after they walk the fuck away. It's like, oh, okay, now you care. <laughs> Not when I'm gone, you care. Okay. Anyway. Capricorns, that was your reading. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I will greatly appreciate it, of course. I love your guys' faces. I will see you later, and bye bye